listening to episode 190 of the Small and Supercharged podcast with Rhea Freeman. Hello and welcome to this episode of the Small and Supercharged podcast and this one's all about membership groups. Should you join a membership group? And obviously I am massively biased here because I run one, uh, the Small and Supercharged Mastermind group, but I know there are a huge amount of membership groups around and I wanted to really talk about basically not why I created Mastermind, but things that I was looking for in a membership group, why I feel that they are so, so important to the point that the people that I also coach one-to-one are also part of Mastermind and how they get different things from it. Because it's not just the training. I think depending on the kind of group you join, it can offer just a huge amount of value as well. So I just wanted to chat through a few things maybe to look at if you're considering joining a membership group. Obviously, I would love you to consider joining Mastermind. Um, if you just hop over to reafreemanpr.co.uk and at the top, you'll see Small and Supercharged Mastermind. Um, but I just thought it's a good, it's a really popular thing at the moment. A lot of people are starting membership groups. Obviously, I have, gosh, how long have I had Mastermind for? It's been a few years now and I absolutely love it. I really enjoy Mastermind. I think the people in there are awesome if you're listening you know you're awesome um i love seeing what they get up to i love seeing how they're improving and growing and you know when someone does something that you know something that has been said in the group or a training or a mindset masterclass has encouraged them or given them the the tools to do that it's just incredible so I've got a few different things to to talk about. And the first one I want to say about is accessibility. Now, there are loads of different ways that people run membership groups. Some, it's all through a website and you have a specific login to the website. Now, with my group, I do it through predominantly through Facebook group, but there's also a, um, a, a mailing list so people get notified about you know, trainings, particularly the live trainings, the master, the mindset masterclasses. Um, and also I've just started for Mastermind, a private podcast, which has been in the, in the tubes. That's not a phrase, been in the pipeline. That's better. The pipeline for months, but trying to get the right one was actually really tricky. If you're looking to do a private podcast, for anybody. So this is not a public podcast. Obviously this podcast here is a public one. It's available in all the normal places and you don't need to pay to listen to it. There's another option where you can charge people to listen to a podcast. So, you know, you would put a a paywall on and they're quite easy. If you want to do one of those, there are loads of options out there because often the the company take a, a percentage of your income from that. There's lots of different ways of working it, but that's quite easy. What I wanted to do was tricky. Uh, So what I wanted to do was allow people who are in Mastermind, who pay their sub, to have access to all the recordings, all the trainings, all the lives, um, all the masterclasses in audio only format because there's such a range of people inside the group. You know, we've got physios, we've got artists, we've got retailers, we've got, oh my, we've got so many different businesses inside the group and some people can't make the lives which is completely fine um and others you know if they're out walking the dog if they're out driving if they're mucking out you know there's a lot of horsey people in this group they will listen to a podcast rather than watch a video so I just thought is there a way that I can make sure that people can get the training that we're giving inside the group in loads of different formats and this is a really good way and it's gone really well so far. And if you're a mastermind and you, ha- and you haven't yet had the link and you want it, email me. Um, so accessibility is really important and making sure that you can access that group content wherever you are. As I said, I predominantly use Facebook groups because, and I put the information in the group. So um, I'm recording this. We When we do our tea break Tuesday, which is well, every Tuesday at 10.30, we either have a social media training which is a Facebook training or a, you know one of the, the Facebook family trainings, or we have just a Zoom chat. And I post the Zoom link inside the group and people can click on it or not, and it's completely fine. So I use that as the main hub, I guess, because everybody has got Facebook on their phone. 
if you're listening and you haven't, I apologise. But let's say the vast majority have got Facebook on their phone and they're usually logged into it. So therefore, for them to be part of anything that's doing, they just need to open the app and they can be part of it. I found before when I um, used a different method with a group, when it had to, you had to log on to get access to the different trainings, that the, you know, it's a faff. I don't know about you, but whenever I have to log into something, there's some websites you have to log into to look at things, um, to buy them, actually. It's just such a faff and I don't do it. And I think that if we can make our lives easier, if we can streamline our logins a bit, it helps. That doesn't mean that having a content library is a bad shout. I don't think it's a bad shout at all. But I've worked quite hard and will continue to work quite hard to make sure the information inside Mastermind is well organised so people can find it. So we use hashtag, I use hashtags on the content so it's easy for people to search. I um, use units to organise the content. Um, lots of different things in there. So make sure it works for you because you might also think, well, I spend a lot of time on, say, trains, but I don't even know if in post-COVID we people not that many people go on trains as much as they used to but if you've got more options available if it's easier for you to access if it's easy for you to look at on your phone or look on your computer or listen to you're much more likely to get the value from it if it's hard to access it I've done this before I've joined things and by the time I've had to change my password and do all this and do all that because I've forgotten my password I've given up, I've moved on, it's taken me 15 minutes and that was the time I'd allocated to do a specific thing. So I would make sure that that's, that's good. I think the next thing is the quality of the training and you want to make sure that someone who is doing the training and delivering the training is more than one step ahead of you. When I put together what I wanted Mastermind to be, Obviously, the, the main focus is on how to promote yourself on a budget. That is largely what it is because we bring in elements of PR, social media, of marketing. We do lots of collaborations and I put loads of editorial opportunities and other opportunities inside the group when I get them and I'm able to share them. But you want to make sure that that person really knows their stuff. And I, I've been doing this for, oh, I don't even want to admit it, but how old am I? I don't know, about 15 years now. Um, I've been doing PR marketing for 15 years. Oh gosh, I feel old. Um, and I've been doing, I've been really focusing really hard on social media probably for the last 10. Um, I'm a Facebook lead trainer. I'm a she means business accredited trainer. I'm a business connected business advisor. I'm an award winning PR advisor. Yep, that's the right term, adv advisor. Um, I'm an award winning podcaster. Like I have really earned my stripes through a lot of stress. I've worked in house, I've freelance. I am confident that what I'm teaching inside that group is really valuable and I want to help people shortcut things. You know, I know how to write a press release. I can teach you how to grow your press list and we do, we do those modules inside the group. I can also teach you how to do ads on social media platforms I can talk to you about video I can do audio with you because I've been there done it and I've got loads of t-shirts and that's not me being arrogant although it does sound it but you want to make sure if you're learning from someone they're not just a step ahead there's a really good is it the Simpsons and she's teaching piano and she's as long as I'm one lesson ahead it's fine you don't want someone that's one lesson ahead because they don't have the depth of knowledge that's going to help you when you've got a tricky question you want someone who is a lot ahead and also is continuing to learn because platforms change all the time. I'm currently refreshing my, oh gosh, what is it? The blueprint, um, so Facebook, in order to be a lead trainer, you have to do a load of things, do a training, get passed on your presentation and teaching skills, but you also have to make sure you keep your media planning and your media buying certification for, from blueprint up to date. Um, and I'm currently doing the refresh on both because they're due in June and I'm quite keen to get it in before then because why wouldn't you? And the new material that is part of these certifications, I've obviously been aware of it, but the learning and the refreshing I'm doing and the depth of knowledge I've got to, I mean, I'll be honest, I don't, I don't place Facebook ads for people and the stuff I'm learning I think is pretty high level on both, but I have got that knowledge now obviously I'm, I'm learning things all the time, the iOS updates, 
the changes in sort of tracking and, and all that side of things are what's coming through in the teaching and the learning I'm doing now. But then when someone in Masterminds asks me that question, I can help them. Even if I don't place ads for people, I don't run an ad agency, I know the information and I can point them towards those resources that are going to help them. You want that depth of knowledge. You want someone who's been there, done that, got the scars, got grey hairs that they dye. <laughs> um, they don't have to dye them, got grey hairs. Um, everything else, you want that depth of knowledge because that person is going to be really valuable to you. And it's not just, I read a book and this is how it works. It's that I read a book, I've applied it for years and years, I've honed my methods and that's what I'm sharing with you and that's what I'm really proud to do inside my group. So if you're ever looking to join any kind of membership, make sure that person has got the skills and got the experience you need to take you to the next level. So, so important. One of the other things that I think is important is the, the variety of the training. So is it what you want to learn? Now you might find that not every single month people put out trainings that are bang on relevant for you, but you want to make sure that there's always stuff in the group that is useful to you. So again, I know I keep talking about mastermind, but it's one I've got the most experience of. We do, I do things like we have a marketing masterclass each month, which is obviously around promoting yourself. Um, we do a mindset masterclass each month. And what I was saying actually about the training side, I am an NLP practitioner and I'm working towards my master prac and my master coach. But I know there are people in the group who are better at mindset teaching than I am. So although on paper, I'm bang on for this, I actually work with Tracy Cole, Jane Brindley, Brindley, and Jane Pike to deliver the trainings because these three are absolute mindset masters. They are in the trenches, they are learning. They're all slightly different, but highly professional and very relatable. They teach beautifully. They are really, really good. So I also feel it's important that, yeah, you can bring other aspects in, but let's make sure that they're great. You know, as I said, I am qualified to do this, but I use quite a specific set of tools from my NLP practitioner training and master prac and master coach in what I do as a business coach and a, a you know marketing coach, um, social media coach. But I, I want my masterminders to have access to the whole scope because it depends on what mindset issue you're trying to overcome, what tools are the most useful. So that's the point there. Um, so yeah, about the quality of the content and the, the variation of the content. Every month we do two different Facebook trainings or when I say Facebook, I mean like the meta family. So Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, whatever, and Messenger. Um, we have a marketing masterclass, a mindset masterclass. I do a weekly live where people can ask any question they like around business, uh, marketing, social media, PR, promoting themselves and I will do my best to help them. And if I can't help them, I will find resources that will. Um, because then I feel like everyone's gonna get something. I also put loads of opportunities in the group, which is not something that everybody does, but because it's aimed at people in the equestrian and rural sector, equestrian rural countryside sector, I put opportunities in from leading magazines, put a really great collaborative opportunity in with a big company recently that a lot of masterminds have got involved in, which is awesome. And I feel that's really important as well. I want those people in my group to succeed. And I think you want that drive from somebody running a group. You want them to be rooting for you. You're not a price tag. You are a person that they want to succeed. And genuinely, I get so much joy from when masterminders post something amazing's happened. And we've had some massive wins from some of the amazing people inside the group. And it's just an absolute joy to see them and be part of it. And that's also one of the other points I wanted to cover, which is the community aspect. And this is something that I have talked about before, but it's so valuable. And having actually the Facebook group works really well for this, but making sure that your membership, there's that community aspect. So you've got people that you can be accountable towards, people you can share the wins and the woes with, um, people that can you can ask a question about an issue you're facing in your business or a thought you had and people will share 
their take on it. They've had people saying, oh, what's it like to sell on this platform? I've had this issue with a website, how do I fix it? Um, I've had this happen. What do you think about this? Has anyone entered this? Having that community there that are really supportive and want you to win as well. And that is the beauty of the mastermind group. They do, they're such a great bunch, but make sure you've got that in whatever membership group you join, that you've got that community that's rooting for you because it makes all the difference. And also, I know a, a huge number, if, I, if it was, well, I don't know the percentage, but it's a very high percentage, of masterminders have sort of hooked up with other masterminders and collaborated on opportunities. Genuinely, absolutely makes my heart sing. I love that. And that's the strength of the community. It's not just what is there in terms of the trainings delivered, etc., cetera, et cetera. It goes beyond that when you have a good community. It's those connections, those friendships, those the things that just elevate what you're doing to the next level that I would absolutely look out for in a membership. I think that's so important. So training, the quality of the trainer, um, the lives, accessibility, the community and opportunities that get put in. Now, obviously, if you go to a, a, a membership that is more broad, which is, I don't have a problem with any of this at all. I'm just sharing my thoughts. You might not find the opportunities are as great because they might not be as relevant to you. There might be broader opportunities, but still that could encourage you to have ideas. It could allow you to reach out to people. There's loads of different scope there. Equally with a community, um, if it's a less niche membership, if it's a broader membership, again, you you there's no reason at all why you wouldn't find a you know a community. And although what I love about about Mastermind is that everybody is kind of understands the trade quite well as well everyone's sort of bound together by so many different threads if you're in a bigger broader group you might not have that but that doesn't mean the community is not valuable because they they might be female entrepreneurs they might be solopreneurs they might be makers they might be loads of different reasons why you, there's a kind of thread that joins a community and there's no reason why you can't make that work for you as well and there's obviously the cost, you know, to talk about a membership and not talk about the cost would be wrong. And it's important you get your value out of it. The mastermind is set at £40 a calendar month. You can cancel at any time and it's done by PayPal recurring payment. And it's set at £40 because there is so much value in the group. I am very active in the group and I am there to help the masterminders. If any of the masterminders drop me a direct message or an email and say, I'm struggling with this, I will help them. And, you know, the great thing is that so many, the trainings are blooming awesome in that group. The opportunities are incredible. One of the opportunities that's, that's actually I've got coming up is probably, is worth hundreds if you take it. So you're going to get that value back. If you put the work in, you're going to get the value back. And that's the other thing with memberships. You need to do, the, and coaching actually, you need to take responsibility to do the work. You can't just join a membership and expect everything to change. You need to be listening to those trainings, watching those trainings, participating, networking. That's how you get the value from it. And that's how your investment in a group seems just minimal because you're getting so much value from it. You can't, you know, it's not, we all want a return on our investment. And generally, the more you put into membership groups, the more return you get. So I hope that's been useful. Um, it's been something that's been on my mind and I thought, oh, don't do it, it's too salesy. But it's not about Mastermind. Obviously, I have referenced Mastermind a fair amount because I know Mastermind. I love Mastermind. I'm very proud of Mastermind. And you'd be very, very welcome to come over and join us if you, as I said, head over to reafreemanpr.co.uk and it's across the top. Or send me a direct message, send me an email, or whatever. I am here to help you. Um, happy to pop on a call and have a quick chat, whatever works for you. But there are lots of different memberships out there and you know they've got different value to you it depends on what you where you are what you want to do what you want to achieve there's loads of really great opportunities out there generally they're a lot more affordable than one to one coaching but if you use it well you can get massive massive value from them so i'm going to love you and leave you today if you listen please do screenshot share to stories let me know if you're part of a membership it doesn't have to be mastermind if it is 10 bonus points to you and we will catch up next week. Have a good one. Take care.